Imagine losing more than a third of your police force in less than a year. That's exactly what's happened in Asheville. And now the department says it can no longer respond to certain calls. 7 News reporter Ann Maxwell breaks down how it came to this. The department reports they've lost 84 officers since the start of last year, and they say they just don't have the staff to respond to everything. The Asheville Police Department announced Wednesday that effective immediately, they're no longer sending officers to respond to certain calls. We have an agency that, that has provided um, services at a high level for a long time, um, but the circumstances have come to pass that, that we don't have the staffing to maintain that level of service. The department says it's no longer sending officers to respond to certain crimes, including thefts under $1,000 where there's no suspect information, vehicle break-ins where there's no suspect info, quote, minimal damage and graffiti where there is no suspect info, and fraud, scams, and identity theft. And our primary responsibility is to maintain a staff of, of officers that are available to respond to the most severe calls. According to Deputy Chief of Police Mike Yelton, a lack of officers is leading to the reduced responses. Victims of crimes to which police no longer respond can still file reports online, but we're told there's no guarantee they'll be investigated because the investigative unit is down 50% of its personnel. Some city residents are concerned. I think that's terrible. Uh, we definitely need the police. As of today, sworn personnel at the Asheville Police Department is down nearly 38 percent, with about 60 vacant positions. Suddenly, starting mid-year last year, we saw a, a drastic increase in attrition. Yelton says the combination of factors, including low pay and low morale, are prompting officers to leave. When they respond to help people, and as soon as they arrive on scene, they're seeing graffiti everywhere with some of the messages you've seen around downtown Asheville, uh, negative, very negative derogatory things, uh, it affects them. And it is a further factor that communicates to them that the community does not fully value their, their time and effort. The department says they are recruiting and looking to fill those vacant spots, but they say from hiring to training, it takes about a year to get a new hire out on the road. In Asheville, Ann Maxwell, 7 News. State agents will handle a full